David Rice back here with you, your retirement architect on KFMB every Sunday. And uh, I have to tell you, it's so it's so wonderful. I, I run in, you know, I've been doing this show for a long time, and and I run into people all the time now that I, I know you. I listen to you on the radio, and it's so it's so awesome to have that. And and um, my church uh, that I go to, um, you know, I've had just in the last week. I think I had three people now that I'm actually going to do uh, planning for. And uh, I think they were a little afraid to ask me, but they were like, David, you know, would you help me? And I'm like, sure I would, you know, I hear you on the radio all the time. And uh, um, so I appreciate what I'm, what I'm saying is I appreciate you listening. I really do. It's uh, it's, I always say it's an honor and a privilege to have a soapbox to talk about things. You know, I've done this for 22 years of my life. It is my life. Uh, you know, God, country, my children, um, and, uh, my work, uh, and, and those are the things I care about and this is what I do. So, uh, I thank you for that. So we're talking about, about the market. The last couple of weeks, you've seen a massive rally. Okay. And what I can tell you when you have bear markets, and I think we're in a bear market, um, and I could go on and on and on and tell you why. Um, but th the main issues are we've had our own markets, internal markets, the Russell down over 20% from its highs. We've had the German markets down over 20%, the Chinese markets, uh, Italian markets, Japanese markets all around the world. And we're an interconnected, interconnected economy now. And uh, that's both good and bad. But let me give you some examples. So, so when you have a strong stock market, Things that will lead is like technology, financial stocks, especially financials. Financially should be the leader in a bull market. Well, let me give you the statistics for 2016 so far. Financials were down 6.5%. They were down 17 through mid-February. Okay? That's not good. Gold's up 20% year-to-date. Gold. Gold's been demolished for the last four or five years. Little old bonds, long-term treasuries are up 6%. Utility stocks, which those are, you know, your grandparents' stocks, right? Up 8.5%. So you've got gold, bonds, and utilities are leading the markets, okay? Everything else, the S&P is down. Small company stocks are down. Financials have been down significantly. as down as much as 17%. So what does that tell you? So just think uh, common sense. You know, if it doesn't make sense, I always tell people if I'm sitting across from you, then don't do it, right? If I can't write it on a piece of paper or uh, a whiteboard, it means I don't know what I'm talking about. The point is, is that that's, that is a, that's a red light flashing to you. When you have assets like bonds and gold and utilities that are the winners in the market, that's not a bull market. It's not like you're talking about Apple up 50%, which has been down 30%. It's not like you're talking like J.P. Morgan's up 20%. Those stocks have been hit down as much as 20%. So the leadership in the stock market is, is you have to pay attention to. In fact, this is kind of a scary thing that I just read. Let me find it here. And it's about um, gold ETFs. So I'm going to find it here. But basically what it says in this article, here it is. What it says in this article, and this is from... BlackRock Securities, they're the largest seller of exchange-traded funds. If you don't know what that is, it's like a mutual fund, but it trades like a stock. And it says, gold ETF market breaks. BlackRock suspends ETF issuance due to surging demand for gold. So it says, BlackRock's gold ETF, which is IAU as the symbol, has seen fund inflows every day in 2016. It's no outflows at all. And that's the opposite. The stock market has seen billions and billions of dollars flow out of the market this year. So gold funds have been have been positive flows in all year, and with stock trading is above its uh, uh, you know at, at lows that it's been trading at, the the largest manager of gold uh, ETFs uh, says that it will the issuance of gold trust shares have been suspended uh, due to demand for gold. What's really happened? I'm not going to read the whole the whole article to you, and we actually have gold in some of our portfolios. It, it's now a time to look at gold. Um, we have many different types, or not many, we have a handful of different strategies, all built to protect downside. And first and foremost, we want to win by not losing. Again, as Mr. Buffett always says, the rule number one, don't lose money. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. So gold is a, is a fear asset. Um, there's a lot, it's really like a fear currency. And so 
this is this is something I've been reading about from again the guys that's a lot smarter than me. Here's a problem we have: when you have funds that 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 will that are proxies for gold, like a gold fund, a gold ETF, um, their paper securities is paper, right? You don't actually have the gold in your pocket or in your safe or in your vault. So what is happening right now, and it's happening, and it's 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 kind of scary, is that there's not enough gold to actually back up the paper money that's being traded for gold. That's what's called a liquidity crisis. Meaning that if everybody wanted to get their gold, there's not enough to go around. So unless you own the physical gold, you know, you're not you're not uh, assured that that actually has value. So, you know, I'm not here telling you that that there's going to be some catastrophe around this but these are things that are very unusual i mean i've never seen something like this before i've read about it heard about people uh prophesizing about it but but uh, it just is another one of those things that tells you that things are not so great um we're going to be hosting a seminar uh workshop uh i don't know when i'm going to do another one so if you can make it i i would heart i would uh, highly recommend you do uh, it's going to be this next wednesday um, or Thursday, actually, I'm sorry. The last one was Wednesday, Thursday, March 10th at 6 p.m. at Bistro West. Awesome food, great staff. People love it there. Um, I think I'm the sideshow because everybody talks about how good the food is in the service. Uh, but again, again, that's called the uh, Essential Financial Strategies for the New Economy, and that is Thursday, March 10th at 6 p.m. at Bistro West in Carlsbad. And I'm, I'm going to be talking about uh, many topics: how to protect your money. How to, how to double your cash flow in retirement. So we have strategies to, to get you uh, into areas where you can have a really successful retirement, not worry about running out of money. And what I call the Washington, D.C. effect. You know, what does the current election cycle uh, and a presidential uh, year have to do with your money? And it, ha it has significant influence. Um, I will tell you that, that, that election years are the most dangerous years for the stock market. So let's kind of put two and two together. We basically are seeing the market trade at, 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 at technically that it's only traded in two other times in the last 15 years. In 2001, 2007, those were both bear markets. It's now trading in similar fashion technically today. Also, we have a presidential cycle uh, uh, where you have in the, in the uh, election year, you're going to have very volatile markets. It's because there's instability. There's unknowns. Markets hate unknowns. Who's going to be the next president? Is it going to be... You know, Mr. The Burn, Mr. Sanders, is it going to be uh, Hillary? Is it going to be Trump? Who, who's it going to be, right? And so that that can that 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 gives angst to to society, to markets. And what are markets comprised of? They're comprised of people. So there's a whole psychology of the market. Markets are not that you know, not that scary. I know they feel scary, but there's a rhyme and rhythm to markets over time. And if you come to my workshop, I'll talk about that and make you feel much more comfortable with where we're at, but maybe not so comfortable because where we're at in the cycle of this market is, is at very high risk areas. Um, we're going to talk about taxes for sure, how to reduce your taxes. One of the things I pride myself on is, is we're experts, uh, uh, my partner's a CPA, in mitigating taxes uh, during retirement. A lot of our clients are paying zero taxes in retirement. I'll show you strategies to, to do that. It's pretty amazing. Um, if you use special uh, investments and you know what you're doing, uh, most of you, quite honestly, could have a tax-free retirement. Um, and that's not just a, a tagline. That is real. So uh, that's another reason to attend or reach out to me. Um, and, and do you have the right advisor? You know, is your advisor an expert, a retirement expert? Has he, you know, how long? All I've done for 22 years is retirement planning. So that's what I do. Most advisors, that's not the case. So you want to make sure whether it's me or somebody else, they're experts in retirement planning, which means experts in Social Security, experts in taxes, experts in annuities, experts in risk management, uh, experts in estate planning. That's a lot of stuff. And, and it's something that we just do as a firm. We're a full service firm. And those are the kind of things that we offer. So if you want to attend the workshop or you'd like to reach out to me to, to get a second opinion, either way, give me a call 1-800-611-1967. That's 1-800-611-1967. Or go to ReyesPlan.com. That's R-E-Y-E-S Plan.com. That's ReyesPlan.com. So hang on. I'm going to talk more about markets and uh, ways to help and protect your money. David Reyes, AM760, KFMB. 
well-designed, tax-free retirement. Tax-free retirement. And you can have it. How, how come I didn't find out about this before? The retirement architect, David Reyes, will continue next. 